No, I said you don't think they may have wanted to. to you, you don't think you might have helped a lot of motherfuckers if you would have said this shit twenty years ago. What you say? They weren't paying in. Hold on. Hold. The only reason that you sat by and in some cases brought the girls to R. Kelly is because he was paying you. Now, 20 years later, you come forth with useless information because they paying you. I wonder if I did a documentary about how all of the people lied on R. Kelly. Would you come there because I'm paying you? You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand um, maybe some of the, the, the cons or uh, 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 fucking uh, the, maybe the holes in, 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 a, in a person's story that can be bought? If a person is um, incentivized by money, if they move off money, do you understand that maybe their, their words may be a little bit tainted? Maybe not that fucking trustworthy? And I smile cause I know the rules Empires crumble by the road you choose Pull up holding sticks like Roman cues Already know the rules That's why I'm holding it down like I'm supposed to do Nigga We ain't crying like it ain't no option Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation And this is Are you serious? If you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt, not the t-shirt off of NBA 2K19, which they stole. Not those Are You Serious t-shirts. The Are You Serious t-shirts that you get from going to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Shirts are going for $20. The Scullers are going for 15 Snapbacks go for 20 And remember when you get your t-shirts... You have to let it be known what size, color, and which shirt you want. You either want the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Fast Podcast t-shirt. You have to let it be known. I'm not sure if we have any more women's left. This might be the last one that we have. All right. Let's, let's get past this because, um, hey, hey, Dame Dash, why, why didn't you, um, why haven't you been voicing your opinion um, on R. Kelly, why haven't you um, came out sooner and made a made your own? You make documentaries all the time. Like you got a whole, you know what I'm saying? I think you got Dash Living. I don't know. I hope that's you. Cause somebody got the name Dash. Dash Living. You know what I'm saying? You've been had a platform with uh, with Kenyatta Hip Hop Motivation. Why haven't you? If this was such a, you know what I'm saying? That type of moment and shit like that. Why haven't you been came out and let it be known? You were dating Aaliyah. You know exactly what was going on. You knew how old she was and shit like that. You didn't think like you're a very vocal person. Why why have why didn't you, why haven't you been came out and say, hey um my nigga, you a fucking child molester, my nigga, you a fucking predator, you a fucking pedophile, my nigga. I don't appreciate that shit you um you molesting my girl. Is that is that is that is that far fetched that a nigga be mad at his Lovers molester. If if you going with a girl and she and y'all you know what I'm saying y'all been talking about a year and she say yeah you know I got molested when I was you know what I'm saying six years old thirteen years old by my uncle. You wouldn't have some disdain toward her uncle if you seen him or even if you didn't see him you wouldn't try to make that like oh that nigga he's enemy that nigga's an op. What's the difference in this situation? You are still my nigga. You were in the video. With the nigga on Fiesta. Shout out to my nigga DJ. This nigga is somewhat of a mentor towards me and shit like that. Y'all will hear from him on the rap trap. Gonna do an interview with him um, about 
you know, a lot of shit about life, but mostly about polygamy. Um, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't even, you know what I'm saying? Dang, you were in the video with R. Kelly, Fiesta, Jay Z, Jay Z, and fucking R. Kelly made a whole two fucking projects together. Best of both worlds, ho ho. They were rocking. You partying with your? I don't make it make sense. Make it make sense. If any of you, any of the people involved in this project, we're going to talk about the folks on the show. But if any of y'all truly hated Nazis, because that's, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, child predators, molesters, rapists, uh, uh, Nazis, racists. We're talking about all that. All that, anything derogatory that you can think of, murderers, monsters, all of that. If you, if you're coming out now to speak about a Nazi, why in the fuck were you ever with the Nazi should be the question that's asked. What I'm calling for right now, we're about to do a whole video, but what I'm calling for right now at the beginning is if there was a crime committed by R. Kelly, then all parties on surviving R. Kelly need to be brought up on charges of accessory after and before the fucking fact. R. Kelly was enabled by these motherfuckers that were around him. Everybody that spoke on that show, ah, ah, ah. I did this, I brought this, I saw this, we was here, and that happened, and this happened, the next night, rock, bring them up on charges. If you see, if you see a murder take place, it is, uh, it's against the law to not report that shit, or you are, uh, um, held liable in a legal fashion. So if any of this shit is true, if charges are to be brought forth, say, hey, let, let me get this out of the way, send R. Kelly to jail. He's a child molester. He's a child predator. Period, point blank. Fine, good. Send him to jail. But everybody goes to jail because I wouldn't hang around no motherfucker that, that fuck little girls. I wouldn't have that much. I wouldn't have that that uh, that that much detailed information about a motherfucker that's fucking little girls. I wouldn't be around that fucking long. As soon as you see it, oh, hey, hey, be home. Whoa, be home. Hey, look, hey, let me go on ride. This how y'all rocking? I'll be scared as fuck. Like, I'm not finna get banned with this bullshit. I'm not finna get hit with this bullshit. How the fuck birds of a feather flock together? How the fuck am I gonna be around a motherfucker? Like, how am I gonna be around a nigga that likes to dress in drag at midnight? And then be like, oh, it's you. No, he, I, I just, he just, uh, we just work together. What y'all do? Oh, we got a group. Um, NWA, Bone Thugs and Harmony, the Migos. What one of them does when they speak about what one of them does, they say of NWA, of Bone Thugs and Harmony, of the Migos. It reflects on the whole group. Um, if Offset, if it comes out that Takeoff was fucking little girls, Offset and Quavo will be brought up. Like, hey, what's up with this be home? Oh shit, that was that, he, that was him. I knew he was doing it, but shit, that was on him though. That was on him. Could you imagine? Let's go further into it. I'm talking to the people that came forth with all this information. This is what I'm talking about. Why did y'all do this show? Think about this. Why did y'all do this show? Did you feel bad? Guilty conscience? Guilty, look, guilty conscience? Okay. You, 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 it's just been bothering you for all these years. You just wanted to get it out. Yeah. You, you want to you wanna help? Okay, you want to help other females that, that may be going through it. All right. So I just got a question. Like, like just a small question. Um, You don't think they may have wanted to know this shit 20 years ago? Huh? 
No, I said you don't think they may have wanted to. to, to you, you don't think you might have helped a lot of motherfuckers if you would have said this shit twenty years ago. What you say? They weren't paying in. Hold on. Oh. The only reason that you sat by and in some cases brought the girls to R. Kelly is because he was paying you. Now, 20 years later, you come forth with useless information because they paying you. I wonder if I did a documentary about how all of the people lied on R. Kelly. Would you come there because I'm paying you? You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand um, maybe some of the, the, the cons or uh, 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 fucking uh, the, maybe the holes in, 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 a, in a person's story that can be bought? If a person is um, incentivized by money, if they move off money, do you understand that maybe their, their words may be a little bit tainted? Maybe not that fucking trustworthy? You work off money. You work for the fucking Nazi for money. And now you come on camera just proud as the day you were fucking born? Why? Because you think that you point at a nigga? You think that nobody's looking at you like, hey, yo. Aaliyah was 15 years old and all y'all knew it. In one case, didn't one of you nothing ass bitches forge the fucking bullshit? For the marriage to go on, everyone around knew that this girl was 15 years old and stayed around, performing on stage, driving him over here, continuing to be his manager. Everyone around was working with the fucking devil. At what fucking point can any of you demons come forth and say, yeah, look at you, yeah, without being fucking prosecuted? If not by the law, then by us. How can any of you outside watching this shit just say, R. Kelly, a pedophile, duh? Fucking duh. Charles Manson is a fucking, uh, he, actually, he didn't physically kill anyone. But Charles, uh, bad example. Um, uh, the, the, the BT, the, was it, uh, the Texas killer, the fucking, I'm trying to find a fucking serial killer. But a, a known serial killer. We know he's a fucking serial killer, whatever the fuck like that. Like, or a dope dealer. We know he's a fucking dope dealer. Yeah, he's so Rick Ross. Oh, he's so dope. Yeah, yeah, we know. What were you doing now? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, no. Nah, shit. What you mean? My nigga. You were around this person that we know is this. The, the question is, why in the fuck were you around him? The question ain't about whether or not he's a fucking pedophile. If he likes young girls, if he likes to get freaky with young girls, that's not a question no more. That question was answered 20 years ago. The question now is, why in the fuck did it go on for 20 years? And that's not a hard question to answer. Because nigga was paying. At no time when y'all was getting paid, would y'all have no integrity. And y'all don't have no integrity now. Because integrity would have said, hey, man, I ain't taking no more money from you, man. You need to stop fucking with these young girls. And I'm not just telling you, man. I'm telling you, you won't stop fucking with these young girls. Understood you might have got thrown off the tour or some shit like that. But if that was the case, then yeah, we can rock with that. All right, somebody come forth. And even then, a person should come forth far before some motherfucking white man say, I want y'all to attack this motherfucker. On... As if a dog whistle was sounded, the white man in the, the, the secret hand, DJ shit, the secret hand, the hidden hand come in, pay some black man, fun a black man, say, hey, uh, you should do a, a documentary about R. Kelly. Oh, I appreciate this money, so I'm sure we're going to go do that. So it looks like, oh, no, it, it wasn't a white man funding this shit. No, 
We just, we just stepping up right now. Fuck no, dog. The hidden hand came in and put the money in the pocket because it was announced back here. It was um, agreed that it's time for R. Kelly to be the food for the feeding frenzy. Just like it was an agreement made back here that it was Bill Cosby's time. How in the fuck is there an R. Kelly documentary before there's a Harvey Weinstein documentary? How is there a R. Kelly documentary before there's a Kevin Spacey, Louis C.K., <laughs> you bitches keep on saying he nasty. He na <laughs> he nasty. Oh, he's nasty. As if you're not seeing. How all these mothers pimped their children. That's what pimping is. Getting paid for sex. The child didn't get paid. If R. Kelly is giving your child singing lessons or star lessons, whatever the fuck it is, you pay somebody for lessons. Why the fuck would he be paying you? Yeah, we're gonna do singing lessons. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. Actually, about five minutes. Alright, R. Kelly. And if the same shit is going on now, it's the same shit. Michael Jackson, if you get the if it, if it's a word in the air that he's messing with little kids, then why would a parent take your child over there? It's crazy. When this fame thing come, because that's as soon as a black man gets some money, everyone around him, especially the women around him, won't rest until they just that 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 becomes their life goal to take that shit away. Don't just get too wrapped up on just a bitch coming and trying to get pregnant or other shit like that, because it might be. Your family member, your brother, you see what happened with Boosie. His own brother. Damn, they took half a million dollars out the bank account. But as soon as you get it, every one job around you becomes getting it from you. That's why a lot of people that get money become loners. Not loaning money, but just all by themselves. They like isolated lifestyle. They might kill themselves. You look here. A preacher at a church, a local church, not a big place like TD Jakes or. Eddie Long, nowhere like that, because those are celebrities, and people will still rock with them, they'll still believe them, because they're celebrities, that's all, but if you're just a regular person, if a rumor goes around that, oh, that preacher there, yeah. oh, he don't live by the word, just, he don't live by the word, people will stop coming to the church, oh, that preacher there, yeah. oh, uh, he like little boys, parents won't let their children go to the church. But you get a man who is known on video, on video, to deal with little girls in a very freaky manner. And you'll still serve them up on a platter. I'm talking about the parents. Now, I'm not talking about the, the dancers and the, the background singers because everybody, everybody that was on his crew, everybody that was with the R. Kelly experience is demons. He was the devil, y'all are the demons. The demon can't come out of hell and say, that's the devil, we know that. Who are you? The parents that allowed their children to go in there, like, oh, I, I didn't know he was gonna do that. Hey man, 
Hey man, you the same bitch that your daughter could tell you that your fucking boyfriend touched her and you'll look her in her fucking eyes and say, you need to stop being fast and go right the fuck on with your life. This is how this happened. Wasn't no fucking fathers handing their daughters to R. Kelly. It was all fucking mothers. All fucking single mothers. There was no there was no married couple saying, hey. Every one of these victims. were the daughter of a single fucking mother. And the fact that these retarded hoes made the decision to hand their daughter over to a known fucking pedophile pretty much lets you know why the fuck the father ain't there. Could you imagine dealing with a bitch that makes those kind of decisions? If you don't agree with me, then it's just, it's, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you. Sweetheart, I don't agree with you letting my daughter go to R. Kelly's mansion. She got a single ass. They're not, nigga, right, you just not getting in the pitch, nigga. You don't got, you don't got no say so here. As a father, what do you do then? What do you do? Call the police? This nigga's goddamn TV. No. You can't. There's nothing you can do. You helpless. And that's how they want us to be. Not the mother. They love that too. But that's how the whole system is created. For the child to come against your wishes. And then everything else will be against your wishes.